Hey there, this is Lula LV. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Instead of talking about luxury leather goods, today we're talking about luxury makeup, specifically Hermes Beauty. For the past year, I've purchased several Hermes Beauty items and I was quite honestly shocked at how little I liked these items. I have way less expensive items from even drugstore beauty brands that I thought were far superior. So I thought, let me do a review. I spent all this money on this makeup. So if I can share this information with you and maybe it can help you save some money, I thought this video might be worth doing. I also want to preface this by saying I'm not a beauty or makeup influencer in the least. I do my own makeup, however, I would give my makeup skills a solid B- minus or C+, plus at best. I can do basic makeup, but I am certainly not skilled at the art of applying makeup, so if you're into beauty and really advanced makeup routines, you may or may not be horrified by this video, so in advance, I do want to apologize to you, but Hopefully for the average person, you may find this video helpful. Now let's get right into it. If you're new here, this is Lula LV, and as I said earlier, I primarily talk about leather goods and tips for smart luxury shopping. If you're not new here, you may be surprised to see how many Hermes beauty items I've purchased, especially because in videos in the past, I have said luxury beauty items are not worth the price. If you wanna make smart purchasing decisions, skip the makeup. However, I have bought these items, mostly because the Hermes Beauty range is relatively new. I believe it was first introduced in or around 2020. So of course, like everyone else, I'm a curious person. I wanted to try out these items and just see how they were and see how they compared to other things. I still stand by my recommendation that luxury beauty items are generally speaking not worth it. If you like a little bit of a splurge to spoil yourself, yes, it's perfectly fine buying luxury beauty items, but if you're looking to save money, go with the less expensive brands, and that's exactly what I'm going to prove in today's video. Over the past year, I've purchased six Hermes beauty items. Hermes does not have a very extensive beauty brand, but today we're going to be looking at their lipsticks, blushes and powders, as well as their nail polish. <laughs> I'm going to give you a review, the pros and cons of each item, as well as their pricing, and I'll tell you the other items I use instead that I think are actually better than the Hermes Beauty. I didn't buy everything that they offered because even I could not spend money on some of these items. The worst one was probably their nail files. It just absolutely blew my mind. It is a pack of 12 nail files. They do say that they're sustainably sourced and they're from poplar wood. One side's orange, but it's your regular cheap looking nail file. Case in point, here are free nail files I got at an event, a local health system gave out these nail files for free, yes, free, a whole bag of them. They look just like the Hermes ones. One side is beige, the other side is red. It's not orange. It is not orange, it's red. Um, but yes, these were given out for free from a hospital. Why would I pay $52 for the same exact thing from Hermes? So there were a few things that they offered from their beauty range that even I could not spend money on, but I did spend money on some things. So let's get into it. The first two items I purchased from Hermes Beauty was a lipstick and a lip oil. I bought those in September of 2022, so I've had them for a year. Let's start, you know what, let's start with the lip oil. Now, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm sitting at a table with all these items in front of me. I also have my computer here, so I have all the information with prices written down. So I will refer to prices, 
colors, and I will have everything linked in the description box below if you're interested in any of the Hermes Beauty despite this review or the other items I suggest instead. So let's start with the nail, or not, excuse me, not the nail, the lip oil. This is the Hermesistible Lip Oil. This is in color three, Rose Pattaya. Let's open it up, and it's just your standard applicator tip. I'll put a little bit on my wrist for you to see the color, but let me try on my lips. So you can see it's just a really nice pink color. And the lip oil is okay. What I do like about the oil is it's a little creamier than the other lip oils I use, which I'll show you two other alternatives in a minute. This is also scented. That may be a pro, that may be a con for you. The Rose Pattaya specifically is scented with notes of sandalwood, arnica, and dragon fruit. So it is a very nice, beautiful scent. It's not overpowering, um, so that is nice. I personally like that it's scented. I think that's a nice touch, but this is priced at $59. $59 for a lip oil. What I recommend instead, I actually have two alternatives that I like better. One is the Dior Lip Glow Oil. Again, this is another luxury alternative. And my personal favorite, the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil. So the, let's talk about the Dior Lip Glow Oil. This is in color 12, Rosewood. Let's do a little swatch again on my wrist. So this is the Rose Pattaya on top, the Rosewood on the bottom. You can see the Rosewood is a little bit more of a neutral color. But take a look at this applicator compared to the Hermes one. Just the applicator, we haven't even gotten to talking about the lip oil yet. Look at how dinky this little applicator is from Hermes. Let's see if I can wipe some of that off. Again, if you're a beauty influencer and you're watching this, you're probably horrified. But, oh, mm. This is so much better. It's thicker and it has, it's more of that oil texture without being too slippery. This is way more hydrating and comforting. This feels really insubstantial compared to the Dior. Highly recommend Dior Addict Lip Glow Oil. This is in color 12 Rosewood. This is $40 compared to $59. So if you're looking for a luxury alternative, this is $20 less expensive. And the Dior, I often buy from department stores like Saks Fifth Avenue when they have a sale. I like to stock up. So I usually get about 15% off of these when I buy them. This one, for instead of $40, I think I paid $34. For this, the other alternative that I love is Clarins. This formulation is very similar to the Dior Lip Glow Oil in terms of the thickness and the consistency. This is in color two, Raspberry. And this is only $29 compared to the $40 Dior. And look, these both have the same type of applicator tip. So again, much more substantial than the Hermes one. The Hermes one honestly looks so dinky when I compare it side to side with the Clarins or the Dior lip oil. And I just love how much more substantial even the containers look with this metal color top compared to the plain white plastic. And you can see how much I've used this. The best thing about this one is it's scented. And that's not saying a lot. That's not what you buy a lip oil for. So moving on now, let's take a look at the lipsticks. I have two here. They come in these cute little orange boxes, which is really bougie. It's a nice experience. Um, and they do come with a little dust bag. Have you ever seen a dust bag for lipstick? Um, but the dust bag is really cute and I will keep these and use them for other lipsticks as I buy them. 
This is the first lipstick I purchased. This is in the color Beige Doe, D-E-A-U. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. And it's a really light beige color. I hope that's showing up. It's really blending into my skin quite a bit. This is one of their shiny lipsticks. I bought this last September and I wasn't really thrilled with it because obviously it blends into the color of my skin a lot. I don't know why I bought it in this color, but I thought, let me give their lipstick the benefit of the doubt. Let me spend more money and buy another one. So this year, again, with the cute little dust bag, I bought their matte, or no, not matte, this is their satin lipstick in the color Rose Apice, color 21. And this is much more similar to the color I normally wear on my lips. So let's compare the two. And these lipsticks retail for $75 each. Let that sink in, $75 for a lipstick? That's not that great. <sighs> the one really good thing about the Hermes lipstick that I like, beyond the little dust bags, is that they do come with lipstick refills. Of course, this is not unique to just Hermes. Other brands do sell refillable lipsticks like Dior. So even though the lipstick itself is $75, you can get a refill for only $47. So you save quite a bit of money if you decide to just refill the same container. Okay, I'm back. I removed all the lip oils and we're going to apply Rose Apice. I'm not even going to bother applying this lipstick in the beige color because honestly, you can't even see it on my face. So let's apply this. And I'm not going in with a lip liner because we're trying on a lot, of a lot of different lip products. I'm just applying the lipstick straight on. And it looks lovely. I like the color. It applies smoothly. It has a great coverage. So it's your average lipstick. I'm not blown away by it, but I really don't like it because this transfers like crazy. It does not stay on your lips. I didn't really notice it with this color that I had initially in the beige because it barely showed up on my lips anyway. But with the uh, red color, it's so noticeable that it just wipes right off your lips and it just comes right off. If you try to eat or drink anything or just regular talking, it comes right off. It is the most annoying thing ever. So. I really don't like using these. And of course, there's a ton of choices for lipsticks. You really don't need me to tell you what lipstick to buy, but my personal favorite that I like is actually this one by Clarins. Just to show you how much I like it, I have to right here. This is their Velvet Lip Protector. This is so nice. It's a matte lipstick, it has a matte finish, but as you can tell, it's not a normal lipstick. It's in this little tube that you just squeeze some out and apply it to your lips. Let me turn my light down a little. Oh, there we go. Look at the difference. It's so nice. It is such a nice formulation. So moving on from lips now, Oh, next up on my list, I have the nail polish. The nail polish. A lot of people I've seen buy Hermes Beauty items have bought the nail polish and it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a perfectly fine nail polish and nail color. Here it is on my nails and this is in the color 43 Rose Incarnate. The bottle is actually very nice. Unlike the lip oil, 
This comes in a really nice bottle. It feels really substantial. The applicator is really nice. It's not a little small chintzy one like you might get in some nail polish bottles. The formulation's really nice. It glides on really smoothly and you can see it's super shiny, no bumps or lumps and it's perfectly fine. The problem with this nail polish is Number one, the price. This is $55 for a bottle of nail polish. This is not worth it. It's a normal, regular nail polish. There is nothing in this bottle that's worth $55. This will chip in the same amount of days that a drugstore nail polish will chip. It'll last you a week, like any normal nail polish will last you. Do not waste your money on this $55 nail polish. My favorite is Essie. Good old Essie, you can't beat it. It's $10 a bottle. I wore this color in a recent unboxing video because I wanted to match the color of my bag. And a lot of people commented on how much they liked my nails in that video and the color. This is in color 336 Angora Cardi. Sorry, you can't, even with the light turned down, you can't see it. I will link this below. Essie nail polish, you can get it at any drugstore, any grocery store. It chips in the same number of days it takes the Hermes nail polish to chip. I can get five of these bottles for the price of one of these. It's a no-brainer. If you really want to go high-end with your nail polish, if you're too bougie for the Essie, my luxury pick for nail polish is Chanel. I have a few different Chanel nail polishes. I don't have a ton. These are $32 a bottle. Still roughly half the price of the Hermes one. I think these are really lovely nail polishes. Even at $30, it's expensive, but it's not exorbitant like the $55 nail polish. Moving on now to the powders. We have two more products to review. Let's start with the blush. This is actually the one product I like from Hermes. I've had this for several months. This is their uh, Silky Powder Blush in color 45 Rose Ombre. And I'll cover up the mirror. So you can see it's just a normal blush. And this is a lovely blush powder. Let me apply some really quickly to my cheeks. Let me tell you the price. For the price, it is $83. This has gone up in price since I purchased this particular one several months ago. Um, this was $79 when I bought it. I just looked at the website to put together all the current pricing for this video, and this is now $83. So this has gone up four dollars you can get a refill similar to the lipstick you can get just the pot of the blush powder for 53 dollars which is still super expensive but you can pop this out and replace it in the same container the container is very nice it has a magnetic closure this packaging is nice um, but what I love about this is you can see, like, look how pigmented this is on my skin. Look how much you can see that. And I barely put any on this brush. So I really like this. This I actually think is worth the price. You can use a teeny tiny bit. It goes a long way and it stays. When I put my blush, it does not fade over the course of the day. My cheeks stay super nice and rosy. So this is expensive, but it's the only product I like. Do you have to spend $83 on a blush? Absolutely not. You can get just as good blushes for a fraction of the price, still from high-end brands like NARS. I know everyone loves the infamous NARS blush in the color Orgasm. I don't have a full-size one here, but I did get a little travel size. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush. Everyone loves this. Great blush, fraction of the price. You don't need to spend money on the Hermes one, but this is the only Hermes Beauty product I actually like, and I may actually purchase a refill 
when this eventually empties. And my love of that blush actually influenced me to buy their mineral powder. This is the Hermes Plain Air Healthy Glow Mineral Powder, quite the name, in color two Atlas. This is much bigger. The blush is six grams and this is 18 grams. So this is three times the size. You can even tell how much bigger the package is. Again, it has that um, really nice secure closure. I mean, and yeah, it's beautiful. It has a nice little H stamped into the top of it. You have three different colors all blended together. I'm really pale, so I like to use this as a bronzer. I like to use this to add a little bit of color to my otherwise very pale face so i'm just gonna apply a little bit under my cheekbones a little bit under here i usually like to do a little dusting around my hairline i mean it's nice is it as nice as the blush no i don't think so this is also a hundred and five dollars $105 for a mineral powder. You don't need to spend $105 on a mineral powder. You also don't need me to tell you that. It's, it's pretty obvious. But for $105 for a makeup item, it needs to knock my socks off. And the thing that really gets me with this is I often forget to use it. I forget that I have it. I have to remind myself to use this. For $105, I should not have to remind myself to use a beauty product. It should be so good. I can't wait to use it when I put my makeup on and I forget this is here. I need to remind myself to use it. Nine times out of 10, what I normally do is I go in and I'm a creature of habit. I go for my Clinique pressed powder. I use it to set my powder, set my, my liquid makeup items, right? I just, I do have oily skin, which, oh, I probably should have mentioned earlier. My skin is on the oily side. So I usually just dab a little bit of this on to absorb some of the shine. And then I go in with the Physician's Formula Bronzer. I'm sure everybody knows this. This is the Murumuru Butter Bronzer. And if you've ever used this, you know exactly the smell I'm talking about. And when I wear this and when I smell that smell, it just makes me feel happy because, I don't know, it reminds me of my youth and... Yeah, this is what I use. So most days I just naturally gravitate to these two items. I forgot to mention the Clinique pressed powder is $32. And I typically use those two over my $105 Hermes powder. So I will not be purchasing this again. Is it a terrible product? No, it does its job, but not $105 worth. So that is my uncensored Hermes beauty review. I hope you found this helpful. If you did enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you enjoyed it. And please, please comment if you have ever tried any of these Hermes beauty items or any other Hermes beauty, tell me what you thought of it and be honest. Was it really worth the money? Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to come back every Wednesday and Friday for new videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.